What's up, everybody? Fred here from Parachute Aquatics. Um, do a video today on uh, some little updates that I've been working on um, with my second planet tank. You guys already know the first one, the ones that look like it needs ninjas in it, <laughs> according to my boy Aqua. But um, this is my tank. This is the one at my house, the one that I put all my vision into. The other one, you know, I don't really do colored substrates, so that was kind of new to me. So, you know, it came out okay, but that's not really my style right now. I'm kind of into the whole natural thing. So, um... Let me guys show you. Uh, let me show you guys, excuse me, on what's going on right now. All right. So I decided to uh, change the scape of the planet. Took some plants out, trimmed the roots up on them because they wasn't looking too good. Um, some plants are flourishing very well. Some aren't. I gotta tell you guys about a accident I did just to let other hobbyists know that patience is a virtue. Um, as you remembered, I had a bunch of rainbows in here. Well, it turns out that Though my testing kit said my water was ready, my fish said otherwise. So I ended up losing three of my rainbows, took another three back, only because I didn't want to lose any more fish. Um, it's part of the hobby, guys. You're going to lose some, you're going to gain some. I mean... It just sucks that the fish had to suffer because of my inability to wait. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I got some Amazon sword, Asian sword, you know, some Nana Petite Anubius, some more Anubius, doing pretty well down there, some micro sword. Some tears, you know, all kind of stuff back there. Yeah. But it came out pretty good. I mean, for most of the angles, I apologize about the glare, but you, know, you only can do what you can do. Now, you guys wondering why there's still a rainbow in there? Well, he was my favorite. He's the alpha, and he's very strong and doing pretty healthy in this water. So I kept him, and he's still alive, so good for him. I threw some guppies in here to speed up the process a little bit. Hopefully that helps. We'll see. But this time I'm going to actually take my time, so I'll be looking at plants for a while. You know. But for the most part, I like it. You know, I, I really do. So once again, I, I just want to, you know, thank everybody that comes by my channel and watches and comments and all that other good stuff. Because, you know, honestly, I do the same for any one of you guys. And I hope that you guys will do the same for anybody else as well. Um, one more quick thing before I go. First, Han Solo wanted to say hello. Yeah, these little tricky guys, little bugger, always hungry. You know, so dollars looking good still. You know, and me and the wife noticed that. Is it me or does that look like the support ribbon? Guys, tell me what you think about that. I'm sure it looks like a support ribbon to me. And booyah! Got the Paltos plant growing out the back of the tank. Only because my nitrates stay high. And it's already doing good. Look like it's growing a little baby right now. Look at that. I did it simply. Just stuck it in a pot. 
It's sitting on top of my spray bar of my filter. But hey, it works. And it's thriving. And it's taking all that nitrate out of my water, which causes it to smell like crap. But it's already smelling better. It's looking better. Fish are happy. Plant is happy. I'm happy. All right. And until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, do it right. Do it well. Peace.